Okay, so uh, you do modeling and you want to send your stuff to Unreal Engine. I suggest you start with color coding your, your geometry because then you can uh, do assign materials in Unreal Engine much easier. So here, for example, I so both color coding. So this is like a very messy model, uh, you know. But you know, it needs a bit of proper naming and everything. So I let's say I color code different pieces here. I just do a few of them. Color coding means like assigning a very basic material, change the color, and put a name. Like let let's say this would be like uh, center. Material like this would be mm, let's say a tick or roof material. So, uh, what I do now, I just like merge uh, things that are similar to each other. So like I shift right click combine these uh, roofs and then and also the the pillars shift right click combine them as well and so I have the roofs and so like if I select these or uh, alt shift D for deleting the history and then combining the rest as well uh, maybe this one I just want it to be shift P coming out of the group so now I have everything else I combine them together you know you will see why why we do combine things together because otherwise you will end up like having like loads of tiny objects inside uh, Unreal Engine so here gonna be uh, body center and this one's gonna be pillars, and this one's gonna be roof. And I delete all the history, and I delete all this. Yeah, I have a nice and clean model now. So. I send this as an FBX, so like export selection. I just make a project folder, like call it, let's say, pillars, and then send it here as an FBX pillars. So let's go to Unreal Engine. Um, I, let me just make a new uh, empty, new empty level which would be uh, so like let's say test level so we open it and there's nothing there it's I like to start from zero and then I go to the environmental light mixer adding a bunch of light and sky and cloud and fog so then I'm gonna go make a folder and let's say pillars here And then I import the the file that I just exported. Like so, you see that like four pieces come comes in. So so let's wait until it loads in. Uh, so so now you see that the objects are loaded. Here I just grabbed the objects, not the materials. And just drag them into the to the scene. Uh, let me position them to zero by zero here. Um, you see that they're col color coded. I press, I hold Control L on keyboard for a better lighting. So like, so then I can have a better judgment on the lighting of of the environment. Oops. So, uh, you like Quixel is your lifesaver. Just go to the click on this plus button and then go to the Quixel bridge. Um, 
log into the bridge here sign into it with your epic games account here I use my epic games account So here, find the texture. So for example, for the for the surfaces, I we're looking for like kind of historical surfaces, and I grab these like mossy stone floor, or maybe these like stone walls. Oh, this one's better. This one's better because it's more. Ra oh no, this one better. Okay, I download this. I download this for the walls. Um, and for the roof, uh, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe this one for the roof. So I downloaded two shaders. So when you download them, you will see them in the locals. So then, then I add them to the to my project. This one added. This one added. Okay, cool. So as easy as so like this this model that I have already like as easy as like replacing your material ID. So I put blue for pillars. So like I replace this with the. Uh, Let's say the the materials that I have from Mega Scan or Quicksol. One is called uh, MI or ML Stone. Yeah. The other one is called M oh, Mega Scan like uh, MI Ancient. So for the walls, gonna be MI or yeah, MI uh, stones for the walls, and for the roofs, I the other one, MI uh, ancient. So the issue you see here, guys, is because of um, UV. So always fix your UV before sending. Also, you might ask. So this this is like too oversized. So let's let's deal with that. So the matter, let's let's fix it. The material that you added here, um, it has an instance. Instance means the material that is in the scene, not the source of it. Don't go and fix the source. Fix uh, like what what you have here, because because if you just go here and just find the root material, which is which is this one uh, preset, and just like change that your entire world of materials will change because you you change the the root material but the instance by changing the instance material like you you just fix the ones that is inside the scene so go go to the tiling offsets of this material so I, if you have realized i just double clicked on that and turn on overriding so here you see that i'm i'm gonna override things like I'm gonna overwrite albedo tinting, like for example, giving it it's a little bit of orange or like less tint depending on what you want. So maybe like a little bit of brownish tint to it as well. So the tiling gonna be let's say 10 by 10. So you see that the tiling is 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 um, is working now and for them also so my biggest issue with many of your modeling is this things are too perfect like you use like basic geometries and things so one way to fix it is ZBrush send this into ZBrush do like age it in ZBrush one way is sending to uh, Houdini Houdini has that edge damage uh, which is part of side effect labs and then do the age damage. One way is to uh, adjust the displacement 
here manually inside uh, inside uh, Unreal Engine. So how to do that? So you just go to the you select your geometry. I'm gonna age like age this 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 wall, right? So I, I get rid of this like sharp lines. So you might say, oh, we work on the material and make the material, the normal like kind of bumping of the material more. So let's do that first and see that's not the, the solution. So if I turn on normalizing uh, the, the normal and make it more, let's say 10. So you see that in, so normal like, like bump map or normals are a fake uh, kind of bumpiness on the surface. It just fakes the lighting. It doesn't impact the geometry. So even though like this looks like deeper than, than when it was one, but still uh, doesn't reflect the proper um, kind of bumpiness of the surface, the real one. We want it to be to change the geometry at geometry level. So here we do it. So no not no change on the material, but but the surface. So we go to the uh, select modeling and in the modeling you see that uh, if I if I instead of lit if I go to the wireframe you see that this geometry has a like a very simple uh, structure but I want to displace it I want to add detail to it right so I have to remesh it first so you just go and find remesh here click on the remesh it changes to 5,000 maybe 10,000 so more details added, accept it. So you see that more details here. Then you go and find this place, which is, uh, where is it? This place. Ah, it's here. So you click on the displace. And suddenly it becomes displaced in a very weird way uh, because this use, uses a noise. Instead of a noise, say, say I'm going to use a texture map. And then go to your texture map library. So this one was the stone wall, right? And then grab this greenish texture, which is for the displacement, and drop it into your displacement map. And you see like a huge amount of it. You don't want that much, maybe one, maybe two. So you see that the surface, like even one point like three. So the surface started to, to be damaged. The issues you see on the edges here as well, on the edges here. Let me go back to the select. The issues you see in here is because of UV. Guys, fix your UV, then, then send it here. So then you see this one like now that the geometry at, at uh, let me just, I think I have forgotten to accept it. Displacement map and accept. Yeah, so now you see that it's been like kind of aged at the object level so the edges doesn't look sharp like 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 the other ones 